Hugo! His face! Before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you about the newest proper life video, which is linked in the description, where we throw our very own prom. You guys don't want to miss it. It was so fun to shoot. It's in the description down below, along with some other goodies. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Megan, and today we are back on my channel with a brand new series. Before I, like, play the game, I want to let you guys know I will be live on Twitch at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, so probably by the time you see this, I'm live on Twitch right now. We are playing Fortnite. And I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch often. Like, it's something I wanna do and it's something me and Zach have a lot of fun with. So, look in the description down below. Come join us on Twitch and we should all have a good time together. But now we can play, like, this new series I made and I'm excited about it, so I hope that you guys are too. Okay, so this is Monica, um, and she's a teenager right now who's run away. This isn't the runaway teen challenge, or this isn't the abandoned teen challenge, but she's a teenager who is going to be trying to make her own life for herself. She likes photography, music, art, writing, and books, all that type of stuff. Now, she has a few traits here. So, look, she has all these parenting things, but it's gonna be hard because she doesn't have any parents. So her skills are gloomy, loves the outdoors, and a muser from having the creativity aspiration. Her aspiration is to be a musical genius. So she needs to practice music for six hours and listen for two hours. She wants to be a musician. It's what she wants to do. I wanted to make her a pianist, which is why I have a piano there, but then we also have a violin in the corner. So Monica's background story is her, her mom and her dad were one big happy family one day until her mother passed away. Um, years passed, her and her dad grew very close and they became best friends, um, but unfortunately her dad remarried uh, into a not so healthy relationship with a new stepmom who hated Monica, who does not like Monica at all. And then sometime down the line, uh, Monica's father also passed away, leaving everything and the guardianship to the new stepmother who does not like Monica and Monica does not like her. So she has left home, run away from home to the city um, and attempts to make a name for herself on like, she has money right now. Let me take that away. So she's moved to the city with only a hundred dollars to her name and she's gonna have to try to make it work. Um, I'm really excited to follow Monica on this journey of love and laughter and making friends to help her through her hard times. And I just can't wait to see where it goes and I hope that you guys are super excited for this series too because I'm so pumped and it's like new for the summer. So if you guys have any questions about her backstory you can ask. Uh, it's kind of loose right now. I kind of, okay, so I usually do challenges in The Sims, I don't normally do uh, like storytelling based things, but I decided I wanted to because I'm tired of, I'm just tired of doing like challenges. I wanted to do something for myself. So this is it and I'm excited. So I planned this out like a week ago or like a couple weeks ago and I haven't been able to get to it. Whenever I made the Making Monica series or the creative Sim, I came up with the idea like, uh, like a few days before that and I was really excited. So I just, <sighs> I hope that you guys are excited too. So first we're gonna have Monica practice the piano. Let's take a look at some of her stuff here. So I think that she's going to, she's class on 13 hours. Um, she has to get one skill to level two and her homework is not yet started. So we should actually have her do her homework. But I think, oh, oh my gosh, the piano was making dog and cat noises. That's so funny. I didn't realize that. So we are just gonna have her practice the piano for a little bit, right? Um, she's working on her aspiration of becoming a musical genius. And this is her little apartment. Okay, so it's a little studio. She has a place to eat, some pictures, just a little corner thing over here. For some reason, she has an espresso machine, right? Can't click on it. Is this even real life? What is this? I don't remember putting this here, but I guess I did. But I guess she can't use it because she's not an adult. Uh, okay. Maybe another time. Um, so she just has a fridge, a stove. All she has to her is a bed, some photos, piano. Like she really doesn't have much. She does have a yoga mat um, where she will be practicing some cognitive, cognitive methods. And here she has a camera so that she can photograph the world. Let me just put that in her pocket um, so that she can take pictures wherever she wants. So it is about 8.35 p.m. She's gonna practice piano for like just a few more minutes because I want to get her to a good grade in school. I don't want her to be stuck with that at all. So there we go, she's leveled up and she has level two of the piano skill now. So let's go ahead and get her started on her homework. Do your homework, Monica. She could come into the kitchen and do it there. 
Gosh, what a lonely life. But she's trying hard, and I appreciate that. So she's an average student right now. I don't know how long the homework will take her, but I think we can probably send her out to make some friends in the city because her social's looking pretty sad. Um, her energy is also pretty low, too, so we can't stay up too late, but I think, you know, it wouldn't hurt to make oh, friends, explore the city a little bit. And plus, I think we're really angry anyway because of how noisy our neighbors are. Uh, let's knock politely and see if they can come out and quiet it down because we're trying to do homework and that's so rude. It's so rude. It is uh, 10 p.m. on a Sunday night. I'll probably stop by the time she finishes with her homework anyway. <laughs> okay, so Monica's wrapping it up. There you go. Done. Hopefully her responsibility goes up some. And we'll just put that back in her inventory so she can make sure to take it with her. She is so angry. I need her to calm down. Oh, why are you heartbroken? What a sad life uh, from just being lonely. We tried knocking politely and now we're pounding on the door. Penny, um, let's complain angrily about the noise because we're pretty heated right now. Um, hey, I love your turn. I'm sorry, your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. Yep, our life is pretty boring right now. So let's just go blow off some steam. We're feeling really sad from being lonely. Um, is there anybody around that we could talk to? This man. Um, there's trash on the ground in the city. It's just, there's Eliza Pancakes. Oh, is this somebody? Somebody our age, another teenager? Darling Walsh. Let's uh, give a friendly introduction to him. So here we are. Let's go make a friend. There's not a lot of teens around, just a lot of adults. Hey, he went over here. Wait. No. Oh, we can also make friends with this person, Miko. Let's give a friendly introduction to her because I think that she might, you know, understand what it's like. Gosh, we are drained though. We are so tired, but we're happy from being outside. Our manners are improving. Uh, let's discuss our interests with her. We want to play cool. We don't want to like ask about like woohooing. We don't want to ask about anything like that. We could show off an app, show off outfit, obsess about favorite social media because she seems like she might be into that. We can give her a compliment like, We've made a new friend, she's talking to us, and we appreciate her so very much. So, let's do something about Piana Santanas, I guess. Did she just walk away? Oh no, okay, well at least we've kind of made a friend and we've talked to her a little bit. Our social's not the best, but it's getting there. Is there anybody else that we could talk to? Some other adults, why is it so dirty here? Let's clean this up, let's help clean up the city and then that should help us with our manners or responsibilities. Oh, okay, never mind, I guess. We can throw this one away. Ew, or we could eat it. Why would we wanna eat that? Let's go ahead and throw this stuff away. And then we need to go home. Oh gosh, don't pick up all the trash around the city. No, 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 no. Let's just go home. We have school in the morning, it's 2.35 a.m. and we've stayed up entirely too late. Okay, so it is 7 a.m. Monica has got a substantial amount of sleep. I'm just gonna have her have some breakfast, a fruit salad really fast so that she doesn't go in to school starving. Maybe we could pack it in a sack lunch and she could eat it there, but you can't access an inventory whenever you, you can't do that. So let's hope, oh God, she's got five minutes to eat. Oh my god, she has to leave now. So I'm gonna let her get some bites of food in her before she goes to school, because she is late. All right, and that should be good. Maybe she's got, no, one more bite in, no. Okay, so Monica's gonna go to school and then I will be back whenever she's back. All right, Monica's returned from home from school. She has a school project. Oh my gosh. Okay, so can we put this here? I guess we can work on it carefully. It might take a little bit more time, but our responsibility will go up. You know, we kind of have to play the role of Monica's parents because she doesn't have any, which is kind of sad. But if she completes this before our next day of school, that should be good. Um, today, I want her to go out and take some photographs of the city. I think that, that would be fun and maybe she'll meet some people. Uh, I think I might play some more Teenage Sims in the game just so that she has the opportunity to meet more Sims because there's not really a lot of Teenage Sims around. <laughs> Unless, oh, maybe I can have her make friends at school uh, next time she goes in. And then maybe she'll meet people that way? I'm not really sure because I've never actually done that before. 
So, oh my gosh, we've reached level two of the programming skill. That's awesome. Just from doing this, how do our skills look? Pretty good, actually. Uh, we're level two of the piano skill, so we also have to start out our homework. So it's like, we have this project and we have homework. We have a lot to do. And our needs are bad. Our responsibility's good. Our conflict resolution's not too good. Empathy, like we can help asking, help by asking people out their day maybe. Um, it's hard because we don't have, we just don't have what it takes. <laughs> we don't have the parental guidance for this. Okay, so our little robot here is done. Let's activate it. Let's see what it does. <gasps> so cute. It's a new friend. How much is it worth though? $80, let's just keep them. You know, as a reminder of our hard work, but we need to take a shower. We need to do something because our needs are in not good shape. That's what sucks about being in school is it's hard. Um, I don't know how hard high school is compared to, well, I do know high school is a lot easier than college, but I wish that there was a university pack. I wish that she could be trying to do college all by herself. I think that'd be fun. We're gonna have her have a quick ham and cheese sandwich. Um, she's very tense from not having went outside for a while and she's having no fun, no fun at all. I just wanted her to grab a sandwich and then maybe she can come watch TV. Power sculpting video. Watch the TV, watch the TV. Well, let's watch channel. Let's see if we can watch the comedy channel. See if that's any fun. Um, maybe it's a little fun. Oh God, Vlad's gonna come and suck our blood. We're just a teenager. How are we gonna do that? Go away, Vlad. Please don't come in here. Oh no. I don't want Vlad to like suck our blood or anything like that. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. We're gonna take a nap. Oh my gosh, it's already midnight. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be tough to take care of any of these. So I guess we won't go out tonight. You know, we're just gonna get good sleep. We're gonna make sure all of our needs are good so we can make friends at school tomorrow. We didn't do our homework though. We're gonna have to wake up in the morning and do our homework. Oh no, guys. Being a teenager is hard, I can't imagine what it'd be like with a job. Okay, so we have to do our homework. And I think that we're gonna have to get a job soon. We're gonna have to, like I was thinking we could try to make money by doing tips or getting tips from playing the piano outside. But I know that that kind of takes a while. It's like long days. Oh my gosh, oh no, we're not gonna finish our homework in time, I don't think. And our social is so low and our hunger's low. Hopefully there's lunch at school that we could eat. Take that with us, and then let's see. Okay, so she's gonna head to school, and then I'm gonna see if I can have her make friends. Make friends. Cause she doesn't really need to be an A student. I mean, she can be. She's gonna be pretty smart. What is this? A big test is coming up in history class. Man Monica's been doing okay, but a good source would really, but a good score would really help boost her overall grade. Should she do her usual amount of studying? Study as much as she can. Study as much as she can, obviously. Obviously, we've met Cassandra, Wolfgang, um, we've gained a small performance gang, and the Geek Con is in town, so maybe whenever we get back from this, we can go to the Geek Con. I know we'll have homework, but you know, if we don't do it, maybe it'll be okay, because we're feeling really tense, and we need to go blow off some steam and have fun. Um, because we're at school until 3 p.m. Aww. We met Hugo, so we are... Oh, our neighbors are so noisy, but we are making friends. Oh, is the Geek Con here? It is here, so whenever we get home from school in like two hours, we can go play games. Oh, and it sucks because I can't super fast forward while there's a little convention thing in town. Finally back from school. I hope. It's uh, 3.03, so we're running a little late. Uh, okay, Hugo can come over, but we're going to come down here and we're going to play some games to try to get us pumped up and excited. Pumped up and excited. Oh my god, her grades are merely satisfactory. That's so sad. So let's play some games, Monica. And then that'll really get you in a better mood, right? That'll give you a lot of fun to work with. Woo, look at that, that is so fun. Oh, and then it shrinks down, that's not good. So good, we're having a lot of fun at this convention. Um, I was gonna see if we could get some food, so let's order some food. We are kind of poor. $11 for a hot dog, pretty pricey when we could just go upstairs and eat, but you know how it goes. And then here's Hugo, Hugo's here. Uh, we can talk lovingly about cosplayers, let them know that we love the passion um, that they put into their costumes and stuff like that. Wait, you're supposed to go buy food. Buy a hot dog. 
Is she getting a hot dog? The convention is in one hour already. I wanted to take some pictures of it. Take photo. Jeez. Oh gosh. We just have this one cosplayer in front of us. <gasps> Hugo! His face! Wow. I thought we were friends. <laughs> but I guess not. Now let's see if we can get some artsy shots of some lights or something like that, you know. Um, it's not really the best place to take photographs. Let's see if we can take a, a cool shot of this trash on the ground. <laughs> Why is Hugo's face so mean to us? I don't understand. Let's go here. Whoa. And then we can try to take some more pictures, see what we can see here. Like, there's a cool mu mural on the ground. We can see people playing games. That might be a good one. Uh, we could take a picture of... Uh, oh, the back of her head. Nope. Ooh, this person playing The Sims over here, working really hard. Um, ooh, and even here's some more artsy shots, guys. So we're just taking some photos of the city, some abstract photos. And let's see what these prints are worth. All eight of them, $36. That pays for our hot dog, right? So let's go ahead. Wait, where did our hot dog go? We didn't even get to eat it. Oh my gosh, she's so responsible. I clean up one thing and she just picks up everything. Why are you so angry? Why is Hugo so angry? Let's see, can we try to calm him down? More choices, friendly, um, ask about day. You know, more choices, friendly. Let's uh, get to know him. See, stuff like that. Maybe that'll help our interaction with everybody. Oh, and then we can... I don't want to buy a hot dog. We're, but we're, if we're about to go back upstairs to our um, apartment, I don't think we need to do that. But I do think soon we need to look into getting a job. Conflict resolution. Um, being apologetic or reconciling arguments. Parents teach kids to say sorry as well. Oh my gosh, helping fix bad relationships. Let's see. Where could I help fix bad relationships? Um, other sims. Help fix... Does Hugo not have any bad relationships? I guess not. Okay, let's just go home. Oh wait, we're gonna eat our hot dog. Okay, well that's fine. No, no our hot dog. Come on, we paid money for that. Grab it. Wow, am I bummed or what? So we are home, it is 7 p.m. It's not that late, which is good. We were only at the convention for like five hours. Um, we do have some homework to do, you know, and we do, how, how's the photography skill looking? We got one, um, greater success to hone their skills by taking lots of pictures, upgrading their equipment, and experimenting with picture settings using the studio flash photography. Okay, so that's good. So maybe we can get better at taking pictures as time goes on. Did she just take a selfie? She was like doing her homework and then she stopped to take a selfie. That is so funny. So she has work or school in 12 hours. So I think we're gonna have her practice the piano for a little bit too. Like just as soon as she's done with homework. She doesn't have any school projects to do. Um, she has school in 12 hours and I think, you know, she wants to get a job doing that. And I think maybe we'll also grab her a a job <laughs> in general because rent's gonna be due soon and I do not think that we can afford it. So press all the dog keys on the keyboard. You know, you're really honing those skills. <laughs> Listen to music for two hours. We don't even have a radio. I guess I could buy us one. You know that would be like pretty on brand right? So let's sell some of these candles I guess. Because I like the plant. What's in here? A sink? And then an urn of Jerome. <laughs> So we can afford like this, like this little vintage looking radio player. So like, let's listen to um, some alternative music, I guess, while we practice our little piano skills. The piano skills kind of hard to gain. We are very angry. We always get so angry, but look, the piano is making us feel a little bit better, All right? Our neighbors are so noisy. They're the worst. Okay, so that's enough piano playing because it's almost 11 p.m. Let's see, let's see if we can listen to some alternative music. God, we are so angry. I don't wanna die of a heart attack one day. Let's pound on door. Why is Penny so awful? Oh, but we're feeling happy. Maybe I don't go pound on the door. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna go pound on the door. I hate you. You're so noisy. 
I'm sorry, you're right. It has been considered. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Okay, so now we can come listen to our music. Or we could we could turn it up so loud. We're just going to dance it out, guys. It's fine. We can just dance it out. Not a big deal, right? But look at how low all of our skills are. I mean, skills. Our needs are. So we got to take a shower. We have to use the restroom. We're feeling pretty good after dancing. What is a power sculpting video? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, are we trying to work out? I don't know. So we have to eat. We have to sleep. We have to shower. So we're going to take a shower. And then I think we could probably um, have dinner, a garden salad, you know, work on that that food skill, the cooking skill, just a little bit. Um, let's see. Monica has 41 days until she ages up. That's a lot. That's like a week. <laughs> a week long, like a few weeks actually. Cause each, you know, why is she naked? Oh, must have been a glitch. So guys, that's probably a good place to end today's episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. I know it's starting out a little slow. Guys, I have a lot of plans for the series. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hashtag stay peachy. Follow me on Twitch down below. I'm live streaming right now. And I will talk to you guys next time. Ew, Monica, stop. Stop. Ugh, bye.